first game. The Yankees 6-4 winners this afternoon to the stadium over the Detroit Tigers taking the first two games of this three game set. Time to get things back out to the stadium here from today's broadcast team of Michael Kay and David Cohn. All right, thanks, Ryan. It's nice to see a guy like Jamison Tyone, who has put in so much work, two Tommy John surgeries, and obviously uh, the more serious issue of testicular cancer. Didn't pitch last year. Yankees took a flyer on him making the trade with the Pirates, and he nails down his first win, David, in two calendar years, exactly two years ago. It has to mean a lot for him. Yeah, that's remarkable that you brought that up on the air. I didn't realize it was to the day, and, you know, all that hard work. And, and for a guy like that, too, I mean, this isn't just, uh, you know, talking about uh, a good story or somebody that's easy to pull for. This guy really has had an incredible human interest story that means so much more than the game. And he's also a great teammate. He's the kind of guy that's so easy to pull for, not because he's a good pitcher, not because he's going to help the Yankees, because he deserves it. He's that kind of a guy. And, and those are character guys that can really help a clubhouse. And that's hard to quantify sometimes. But Jamison Tyone is one of those type of characters. Now, the difference today than previous starts, better his second time through the order. And for the first time, as a Yankee, he went third time through the order as well. So what did you see, or is this just a, a continuing refinement of his skills after being having such a long layoff? Well, I saw him use his curveball again, and he had talked to Meredith Morakovic about getting a feel for that pitch again. And when you talk about the shape of his curveball, not only the velocity, but the spin he gets on it, it's elite. It's in the top 10% of all of baseball. So he really got a feel for that today, and he threw it for strikes. Six times he threw it for strikes. It really saved him. And you have to prove, and I've said this before, and it bears repeating, Michael, as a starting pitcher, you have to throw something other than your fastball consistently for strikes. And today, for Jamison Tyone, it was that curveball. All right, let's skip ahead to the ninth inning because I, I think sometimes it just gets lost in the, the fact that the Yankees win a game. He's five for five and save opportunities. But in his ninth outing, another two strikeout performance by Chapman. That's 22 strikeouts this year. And really at times on the mound, David, I don't know if you agree, he almost looks unhittable. At this point, yes, and word is out. Everybody knows now, hey, have you seen Chapman's splitter? It is filthy, and it, it is, and it's in his back pocket, and he's got the slider, and his velocity's up. We've, we've talked about all of these factors, but how about the control? How many times have we seen Chapman over the last couple of years come in, and it takes a hitter for him to find the strike zone, and then all of a sudden, you know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, but not this year. Not only is all the stuff there, not only is the splitter an incredible weapon for him, but he's painting that fastball, and he is attacking hitters, and his confidence maybe is at an all-time high. 